Beauty News family. Welcome to another makeup breakup recap. Yeah. So this is essentially where we sit down and we chat about the products that we have destroyed on the makeup breakup. Mm -hmm. um, a trip down memory lane. Yeah, it is a trip down memory lane. And also we can tell you kind of how we've been feeling about the products since we destroyed them. Yeah. Whether we use them, whether we like them. All right. Um, one that we don't have, and I'm kicking myself because this was a really interesting one. Um, when we saw how many sprays were in like a finishing spray, we used the Glow Mist by Pixi. And the reason why we chose this one was because uh, it's got oil in it. It's like a biphase product. product. And um, we knew we weren't really going to use it. Now I had another one. I had been sent this since, um, so I can refer to it. But what happened when we actually did that? Well, obviously when we sprayed it out, the oil and the fluid were mixed together yeah. and we poured it back in the bottle because, you know, it is something that we can potentially reuse use, and yeah. we'll give it a go at least. Um, it never, it never separated again. No, it just turned into like almost a milky kind of ick yeah. kind of thing. So, um, yeah, so you shake it up and it separates back into the oil and fluid. Whereas that one, it just mixed yeah. together permanently. So once it's pressurized through the actual pump, yeah. it doesn't separate. Yeah, so, so that was interesting. Interesting. You can't reuse it if you spray it all. Yeah. I mean, you can reuse it, but it's no longer a biphase product. But it might have also changed the formula of it. Like you don't know what it actually does. And yeah. It looked a bit funky. It did, to be honest. Yeah. Then we've got our good friend, the Subculture Palette. Now, yeah. a lot of people were... Um, Devo. Ah, oh. that's Australian word for devastated. Yeah, that we destroyed this one. Um, can I actually say though that like we did whoop, whoop, brush, we did um, you know swirl until we hit pan, and we did repress some of them. Um, but I actually, when I've been using the palette, I sort of reach for this one because I feel like it's already ruined. Yeah, I won't ruin it anymore. So even though we did use up. A lot of it, it's a lot of it's still intact. Um, so yeah, there's that. And it's just as crappy as it was originally. <laughs> yeah. Nothing's changed. But you don't feel as bad messing it up. No, absolutely up. not. I actually, it makes me sad when I dip into mine because I'm like, you have the potential to be so beautiful. Yeah. And now you look like a mess. Yeah. I'll hand you one. All right. Um, oh, it is. This is great. We are, we destroyed the milk, um, holographic, holographic stick, stick yeah. which you guys asked us to destroy. And that's all right. We had a friend go over to the States to get this for us. Not just, specifically. To... No, no, really. He did. Yeah. Just for this. Yeah. Not a holiday. Um, no. no, not at all. He traveled all the way to the States yeah. just for this. We destroyed it. We popped it back in. It's actually been in the fridge. The whole time. The whole time. Because we don't like it. It's no. it's it's an it's oil, oil highlighter, and we're oily skinned girls. We don't. Oh wow! And it never quite solidified again. No, but you don't know how like firm it was. Though that's the thing. Oh geez, yeah, it never really solidified. Yeah. Did no, it? No, it never uh, never solidified again. And this is again uh, the same thing happened um, with the Bobbi Brown yeah. cream that we did recently. Yeah. Um, it. Once it's out of the fridge, even just for a minute. Yeah. It's because you've kind of agitated it and it's yeah. not as like firmly pressed yeah. anymore. Um, so it's now just like yeah mess. So we, we wouldn't recommend. That one uh, probably is going to go in the bin. Yes. After this. It's a shame. It's a pretty look, color. It's not a bad. I, I can see why people would like it. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't recommend destroying your cream products for no reason. Unless you want to take it and you can put it on your body. Put it on your, still fine on your body. On your body? On your body? Yes, baby. You can. Um, it, it's, it's still yeah, workable. It's just to... not a firm stick that you can kind of put on your face yeah. anymore. You literally have to like touch it and like blend it in. Blend so it in. That's update with that. Yeah. Um, that one was fun. Oh yeah, Beauty Whip Soap by Evita. Mm. Um, this was so much fun. Obviously, that was, yeah, it's probably one of I my mean, favorite ones we filmed. Obviously, we couldn't use this. It was a big bowl of. Um, of soap a lot of people were really annoyed that we didn't just like you know squeeze it this way and let it flow into the bowl it didn't want to it no. wanted to flow back onto the can yeah um so also if you don't shake it once in a while you lose all the air exactly so. so you know i know people wanted that long continuous we tried we tried 
Things don't always work out that way. But um, I actually, I bought one of these back from Japan to use. I haven't cracked into it yet, but just thinking about this makes me excited to yeah, use it. it's pretty cool. Uh, let's go more Japan. I don't want to think about this it. This was probably the worst <laughs> oh video to film. Trauma, trauma. Probably Somehow. the worst besides the NYX eyeshadow. Because that one so was also too. really bad to film. So oh um, this was the one day tattoo, no, the K palette one day tattoo yeah. eyeliner. Um, and it just went forever. My God, guys, if you want an eyeliner that lasts and lasts and lasts. How long was that footage? Um, I believe there was, we had two rolls, so yeah. A roll and B roll. But like in there was total, about, in I length. think there was an hour and a half or nearly two hours yeah. of A roll footage. Yeah, so we took us an hour, an hour and a half to two hours to actually swatch this baby. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a good value for money, we learnt. I will say, I bought quite a few of them when I was in Japan. I reckon I'm going to be in eyeliner for years. Yeah, I bought one and I've cracked into it. Have you? Do you yeah. like it? It's not bad. Yeah. Um, I do find that if you're wearing really glittery eyeshadow, uh, yeah. it kind of doesn't go smoothly over it. It sort of picks yeah. it up and you got to like wipe it off. It's always problematic yeah. with pen liners. That's yeah. true. Then we've got a Can Make Blush. Mm. Uh, this one pressed fine. Yeah. Um, we haven't really used it because the colour wasn't it's really out really, there. Yeah, it's a little bit too dolly pink it's, And it's us. a little bit too almost light and chalky looking. Yeah. But it repressed fine. Yeah. It's a nice little. And it was a doodle. pretty one to destroy as well. Yeah, cute. Visually appealing. It was. Alright, let's talk about foundations. You can hold oh, this one. Oh, okay. Um, the Ordinary. Yeah. This was the coverage foundation. Um, you know, it's fine. It pumped out. We poured it back in the bottle. We were able to use it. Don't like it. Don't like the formula, particularly, which is a shame. Um, but absolutely nothing wrong with it product-wise. Yeah. One that we do like though. Yeah, so the Fenty Beauty, we did the same thing. Mm. How many pumps, how much product you can get out of it. You can get a lot, a lot more product out of this than out of that one. Yep. So this one, like... Yeah, 100%. Because, yeah, like we could get easily 30 mils out of it, um, out of the 32 mils that it contains. Yeah. Um, we poured it back in and people are like, such wasteful bitches. And I'm like, look, I'm wearing this today. I've been wearing I've been it wearing, almost every day. I'm not wearing it today. I wear it most days, but yeah. I'm not actually wearing it today because I've decided to target another one to use up. But uh, it's a great, it's great foundation. I bought it in my shade knowing I was going to use it. And, um, you know, the whole process of taking it out and putting it back in, I probably lost a few days of application, but yeah. it's our oh, job. It's our job. It's all good. It is what it is. Then we did uh, repress the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife Highlighter, and once again, this one repressed fine. Um, I think also the sh pan shape was really weird, so oh, we couldn't it was use a, bit it of a tool. Nightmare, yeah. um, a lot of people were asking, why aren't you using a tool to press it? And it's like, because we can't, because it's, it's a shit shape. Um, but the highlighter is fine, I'm actually wearing it today. It's nice. Looks good. Thanks, Hayley. <laughs> All right, some Too Faced goodies. Mm -hmm. um, we've got the Papa Don't Peach Blush, which is, you know, pressed fine. It's yep. a nice product. Um, sm still smells like peach, but not as strongly as yeah. it did. I can um, smell a little bit of sweetness now. Yeah, yeah it's, an, it's a very nice blush. The next one was the Love Light. You light up my life highlighter. I'm not opening this. It has and cracked. It has cracked. And also, if you guys remember, and if you haven't seen the episode, Go and check it out. Link down below. Um, basically, had a mesh, base. had a mesh base, and we pulled that out. So the mesh base was no longer stuck mm -hmm. to the actual packaging, which means the highlighter is stuck to a mesh base. It's just it's floating, floating around. around. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna so have to take the mesh base out and repress it. Repress it. it. Yeah. Um, so that one's a little bit of a mess, but it is. It is. But it totally is. usable. It yeah. hasn't changed the consistency of the product. No. All right, let's talk about this dude. This is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze. Yeah. Uh, this is just like the biggest damn bronzer we have ever seen. And we did find out it contains way more product oh. than it claims to. So it's insane it's, value. Yeah. Um, we put it in our Guerlain tin. Yeah. And this is like OG makeup breakup yeah. stuff. So we did blend it up to see if you can make a loose one. Yeah. And you can. And you can. And I will tell you... It like, it fits. So if you want a loose bronzer, that's the way I'd recommend doing it. Yeah. Um, 
But we're actually saving that for something else coming up in the future. Yeah, indeed. All right, the Lancome Cushion Blush Satile. Um, people wondered why we didn't put this in a plastic bag to squeeze the product out or wear gloves or, or roll it with a rolling pin yeah. or all sorts of things. Put it through a pasta press. Yeah, we like, have <laughs> I'm not sure what people thought we were going for with this video. But all we wanted to do was clean the product up, out. Yeah, clean the product out, and in the meantime, maybe get some cool shots of playing with it and stuff like that. Well, um, putting it through a pasta roller could have got a cool shot. But I don't yep. have a pasta roller, and I ain't gonna buy one no. for a long gone blush. But you know, no. maybe in the future. Maybe one day. Um, but yeah, that was. It contained what it was meant to. No, yep. actually. Was it just shy? I think it might have been just shy. Oh, oh, I don't even remember. We're going to annotate that one, guys. Oh, oh, oh no, go actually, and watch it. Go watch it yourself. <laughs> actually, good idea. Yeah, go and check that one out. But I do feel like there was something up with that blush. All right, then these guys, the um, kind of color correcting concealers from NYX. Yeah. Um, see, I thought we made a fair conclusion with that, but a lot of people... Oh. Didn't quite get the point of that and we're raging that we didn't include a purple and somehow it invalidated everything we did because it didn't include purple. It didn't. It was just showing that when you mix coloured highlighters, like a lot of products... Oh, coloured concealers. Coloured, yeah, yeah. coloured oh, concealers. Colour correctors. Colour yeah. correctors. Um, they yeah. cancel each other out and they end up not yeah. colour correcting the areas in the face that they claim to do. Yeah. Um, anyway... Maybe yeah. we'll revisit that in the future with like different forms, like maybe stick ones, or even get that stealer one and pump yeah. it out and mix and it up. And just mix it up and show yeah. people. Look so it. we yeah. might, yeah, we might revisit something like this. I don't know if we should clean these out and keep them. No. I can't be bothered. All right. Not really. No worries. Here's one for you. All right. Friend. Yeah, this was a fun one. Kylie. No. Kim. KKW Beauty. KKW Beauty. Uh, so, what did we do to these? We oh, we did a whole bunch of stuff. And How many swatches? Them. How many swatches? Oh, look. They're all destroyed. <laughs> They're yeah. well destroyed. Well destroyed. Um, we definitely got our money's worth with these ones. Uh, but yeah, obviously we can't use these. Do you want to keep this horrible thing? No. Maybe we'll chuck it out. Good. I will say though, I actually didn't mind this as a contour stick. Yeah. When I oh sorry, a bronzing stick. Like yeah. when I was doing my forehead and stuff. I yeah. kind of liked it. Yeah. So I can respect why people like the product mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. So beep beep. <laughs> beep beep, Richie. Beep beep, Richie. Alright, another Japan one. Mm. Uh this was the uh, uh was it Kalid Jumi? Kalid Jumi or whatever. The Flower lipstick. Flower lipstick. Um, this one was a not a complete fail. Uh, it was a it was a popular video. It's yeah. our most popular video. We want to see how many swatches until you get to the like the actual flower. flower. Um, now a lot of people raged over that one. Once again, popular video. People raged. Oh. Um, didn't miss the point. Why don't you just cut it? Why don't you just cut it? We've already we cut it. We've done that. Done it. Been there. Done that. We're revisiting. This was more to see like. What happens when you get to the flower yeah. like as in if you're applying this often and you get to the flower what happens is it still usable yeah what can you do and we concluded and a lot of people also thought that the friction from our arms and the swatching and the heat and the stuff that it melted the lipstick it really didn't um it was the dead of winter it was, in Australia. Yeah, it was pretty cold and it it wasn't it was just that the flower in it created a weak spot. So yeah. if you think about it as like the flower creates a bubble in there yeah. and the only lipstick that's holding in place is around the flower. So yeah. it's a weaker spot. So when you're swatching um, or over applying time. it over time, it moves it and it breaks. Yeah. And I have actually seen someone copy that video idea and the same thing happened to them. Not surprised. So uh, yeah, because that's what happens when you copy videos, don't do it. <laughs> Do you remember these? That one was an interesting one, actually. That was. That it was, was a sad one to see go because yeah. I used that concealer. I can smell this through the tube. You know how they they have that like lemony. A lot of people hate that sound smell. I I don't mind it. To me, it smells like roses. Or some weird. To me, it smells kind of citrusy. Mm. But anyway, 
super popular video. People yeah. loved it. Um, and we loved it too. I felt like it was... Ins well, I found it interesting because up. I saw how many swatches you get out of it and also the benefit of taking out the stopper um, when you are getting low because there was heaps, heaps of products product. still in there. So... Um, yeah, if you really want to get value for your yeah. money, if you, you can love, do it with that. If you love a product and yeah. it comes in a tube like this, always take the stopper out when you get to the end. And have some for, like, you could even put your, if you have like a brush, yeah. put the brush Thin in. Brush, um, you use can a use a lot. applicator, whatever, like, whatever you want to do, but t always take the stopper out. Yeah. Uh, just don't accidentally stab yourself. It's a pro tip. <laughs> All right, so next one is we did the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. How many swatches? <laughs> Done. That's all. It's, That's it. Some people thought it was great. Some people thought it was like a rip off. It was just. Oh yeah, people thought that because this is an older collection that yeah. it was a fake. Yeah. And, that, and I'm like, you know that they're still available on things like Beauty Bay, yeah? No, they're not cat. They are. They're not. I kept sitting. I'm like, yeah, they, they're still available, and they're on sale because they're old collection. Calm down. People are like, I can't believe you did that. That's a collector's item. I'm like, it's makeup. Get a, get a better collection. Unless it's like you know one of the Estee Lauder limited edition compacts that are like fifteen hundred dollars. It's not a collector's item. Just saying. It's just an old lipstick. Yep. <laughs> anyway, that was that. All right. The last thing was the uh, Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. Which and Hayley has at home. We I do. Here. I didn't bring it with me. Um, and it's fine. I use it. It's. I mean, it's Morphe palette. You know, yeah. you know what to expect from it. Thirty-five colors that pretty much all look the same and all perform the same. Uh, people were wondering if um, it performed differently. They were like, "Well, every shade was." individually pressed um, to maximize the outcome of each shade and what kind of irritates me about that is most decent brands do actually look at an individual shade yeah. and a batch and ha like how it's best made and they will yeah. tweak the how it's pressed yeah and the, the formula and all that kind of stuff based on the batch of that yeah. one shade they don't like I think some people think that when you get a palette, um, it's like it just inserts the shades and presses it all. Yeah, um, it's not. It's not. not it's like a batch of each pan. Yeah, like each pan is made individually and pressed individually and then put, put into in the, the palette. palette. So, um, yeah, I felt like saying, look, Jaclyn Hill didn't invent that. No, and I, I think potentially that was a point push to make the palette sound more impressive than it is. Bingo. But, Guys, it's just an average palette. Like, yeah. there's literally nothing special about it. I've played with cats. It performs exactly like mine does. Unpressed versus repressed. Yep. The end. Yeah, it is what it is. But, mm -hmm. you know, tell that to the internet. No, oh, no. Fuck. Don't tell that to the internet. They will come for you. They will. Watch they out, guys. Bloody well. Word of warning. Right. Sorry, the audio might be shit in this. Mm. Uh, we realized halfway through that the card was full, and we're not refilming it. God damn, my so letting us we're down. just using the camera audio yeah. now. Yeah, um, it's probably a bit rubbish, but we get to. I got a new camera today, mm. so we get to test it out. So I'm yep. excited. Yeah, we've both got new cameras. It's fun. Early Good Christmas time. presents to ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yay! All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah, and mm -hmm. if you want to see all the videos, yeah, of the stuff we mentioned, all be linked down below. Link down below. Bye. Bye.